Hey guys! So I figured that I would start maybe making some like vocal lesson videos just because I feel like the way that I learned how to sing was mostly by my own kind of journey to figure it out just by guess and check because no matter what I tried to do I couldn't find like any specific videos or teachers who could figure out exactly what I needed. In this video I'm going to explain how if you have an overdeveloped head voice or you have no idea how to get a chest voice, your voice always sounds unsupported, you can't raise the volume no matter what you do because I remember in chorus, no matter what I did, they kept saying, you know, sing out or sing louder and I'd be like, I'm trying but I have no idea how. No matter what you do, you can't find that like thicker tone of voice. The only voice that you have right now is head voice. That's where I started. Like all the time, I would be singing underneath my voice. That was all I had though. So if anyone was trying to tell me to sing my chest voice, I had no idea what that was. I would just sing like, Hey soul sister, hey the mister, mister on the radio, stereo the way you move, hey there you know. And I would sing that way the whole time, but like, I had no idea how to do mixed voice, which would sound more like, Hey soul sister, hey the mister, mister on the radio. So, Basically, the way that I learned was I found these videos by um, two people that I'll link in the description. It was doing this really strange vocal technique using the kind of the word or the vowel nay. So the way it works is it forces you to raise your soft palate and put all of your resonance straight back here. And that helps you to sing with a little bit more force because head voice is like all up here, like from this part of your head and on. And chest voice is below. But the thing is, there's a place where chest voice and head voice sort of mix, which is mixed voice. But if you don't mix it, it's like a huge break. To do the nay ex exercise, and um, the other videos will explain it better than I will, you kind of make it sound like a baby crying or like a really nasally sound. It does make a funny like face, so I wouldn't necessarily do it in public or in the car. It's like a nay, 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 nay. And what you would do is you do that on a scale, or you could do what I did, and you sing it over a song. So if we're taking Hey Soul Sister, which I don't know why that's stuck in my head today. It would be like um, the part where it's like, Hey Soul Sister, hey the Mr. Mr. It would be like, nay, 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 nay. Not really the melody, but um, what you want to do is make sure all of that is right back here. And if you lose it or if you can't get it, then just keep doing that. Wow, nay. You'll know you're doing it right because you feel absolutely no tension. And you can literally do this exercise in any range of your voice and it will actually increase your range. It's harder to do in chest voice just because in chest voice you don't need your resonance to be up here. Your resonance is more in your chest. But what's nice, if you do have that head voice, it will get you straight out of the head voice, like almost immediately. And it'll sound weird, it'll sound sort of tinny and a little bit thinner than you're used to, but that's exactly what mixed voice is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a mixture of the thicker, heavier chest voice and the really light and breathy head voice. What I'd do is I would sing an entire song on that neigh sound. It's muscle memory after a while. And then sometimes I would just sing it for like the first part of a phrase and then finish the phrase on um, the actual words. But if you can't even get there, then what you want to do is work on vowels. Vowels are really, really important for this. Um, when I was first doing the nay nay stuff, I was doing that throughout entire songs for weeks and weeks and weeks. But then when I wasn't seeing any, like, any improvement yet, because I still couldn't like just go straight back to the words, I would just give up and I'd be like, oh well this just doesn't work. But the thing is that it does, and you just have to be persistent and consistent and do it all the time because it took about three months for me to actually start getting muscle memory. And so what I would suggest to do to get to singing the words is go on the nay 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 and then go through entire songs on vowels. Just make sure that your vowels are correct. So um, there's a million videos that you can look up on how to sing vowels correctly, so I'm not going to go through it here. What you would do is you'd be like, nay 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 And then you can go from that into a vowel. So it'd be like, nay 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 no no. But make sure that you have a lot of space. You can literally feel the space clock, like, clock in, lock in, which is really cool. And your jaw and your mouth is going to get really sore after a while. That's okay, that's not bad. If you feel strain in your throat, like anywhere up here, then stop exactly what you're doing. What you would do is you go straight to the vowel and like change the vowel all the time. 
because eventually then you'll be able to get to the words. But if you cannot sing the words yet and you still feel like you can't lock into that mixed voice even if it's been months, all you have to do is just sing the words really slowly and lock into which vowel that they are. So if we're singing Hey Soul Sister, it would be Hey Soul Sister. So you just make sure that you sing it slowly and find those vowels and then eventually you can sing it perfectly fine and you know, with the actual words and not having to worry about it. So if you're having trouble with the vowels, then something that really helped me was making sure that your mouth is open enough. So I would like, I would over-dramatize how I do my vowels. So I would be like, hey soul sister, like ridiculously, but after a while you get used to that. You won't have to open it as much. That's what I did to start getting muscle memory because that's one of the most important things. Before I learned any of this, and back when I was, you know, really struggling with my voice, and I do remember that I used to think that I had to get into my singing voice, which was actually different from my actual voice. Like, I remember it would take me a few seconds to be like, okay, gotta get in my singing voice. But it's not different. Singing and talking should be very similar, which I had no idea. Yeah, no matter what, you shouldn't feel like you're singing underneath your voice, and you shouldn't feel like there's so much air because I can almost guarantee that you're also singing from your lungs and not your diaphragm. And I would look up a lot of videos on how to breathe from your diaphragm because it's one of those things where like, once you think you understand it, once you think you're doing it, you're probably still not doing it. Because I remember a million times I would say, oh yes, I learned it, I did um, I wasn't at all. But yeah, there's a, again, a lot of videos that would teach you better than I would. The big thing about uh, chest voice for me was I always felt like Anything outside of my head voice was straining my voice. To get into chest voice, when I first started learning what chest voice was, because I had absolutely no chest voice. Again, I thought my singing voice was different from my actual voice, so I completely disregarded talking voice at all, which is all chest voice. So what you should do is, you know, taking the song Hey Soul Sister again, just talk out the lines that are normally like low enough to be in your chest voice. Her lipstick stains on the front lobe of my left side brains and then start to elongate the words to be like her lipstick stains on the front lobe of my left side brains and then eventually after they get used to how that feels that's chest voice so then you could start adding more of the pitch to it so like her lipstick stains on the front lobe of my left side brains maybe if i knew the melody or the lyrics that would have been better but you get the point You know, a couple years ago when I was singing like this and everybody was like, sing with your chest voice, why can't you sing louder? Why don't you have a supported voice? Um, I would think that I was a terrible singer and it didn't sound good, but I mean, I could sing on pitch for most part, but that that didn't really matter if it didn't actually sound good. I learned that going through t um, vocal techniques and just doing the simplest things and then just keeping at it and being persistent, I figured out that anyone can learn to sing, anybody. It's not just, oh, you're born with it or oh, you're natural. The main thing to know is that you can learn to sing. Everybody can learn to sing. And especially if I'm at an open mic and I sing a bad phrase or I like screw up a line or I sing something badly, I don't feel like that attacks my character anymore and I don't feel like that makes me a bad singer and I don't feel ashamed or I made a fool of myself. I'm just like, oh, you know, I didn't open my mouth wide enough or oh, I didn't have the right vowel or oh, I wasn't in mixed voice well enough. It's just good to know because now I feel like singing is so personal to everybody and especially like a lot of people don't like to sing in public because they're so afraid that people are going to say that they suck. But when you make it technical and when you make it, oh, this is why it's wrong, oh, this is why that sounded like that, it's just like any other thing. It's just like falling off a bike. Oh, well, it's because you didn't have the right balance. So no matter what, if you think that just because you don't have chest voice right now or you don't have a supported voice, it does not mean you're not going to learn to sing. It just means that you're not focusing on the right things. And it just means that you need to find out where your voice needs to be. And doing that exercise constantly, I don't care if you don't see improvement in a couple of months, like keep doing it. Because I gave up for years because I thought that that thing didn't work. But it does work and it's so worth it. Just just keep trying. I, like, it's not like I figured this out overnight. I mean, I literally would practice these exercises and breathing and thinking about it and researching hours on end. I mean, I put so much work into this and I feel like I, all my effort is finally paid off because now I can actually sing. It's so amazing. It's such a great feeling, especially when you started as someone like me who felt like I could not sing at all. Just, just keep going. And no matter what, just remember that you're never gonna stop learning or stop improving. 
but these are definitely the first things that you should try. You know, breathing, bowels, and doing that really nasal um, exercise on that nay to get your voice into that resonance because that's going to start to teach you everything about mixed voice and about chest voice. It's funny because a lot of people that I talked to said that they found head voice to be more of a challenge in chest voice. And I had friends who would just sing straight chest voice all the time and they would always break right where their break was because they had no idea how to switch to head voice. They didn't even have a head voice. Um, even my vocal coach thinks it's really strange that I can sing head voice extremely low. I mean, overdeveloped head voice. But the thing is, what's nice is you don't have to learn a head voice anymore because you got that down. So we're almost, you know, we're, we're ahead of the whole, you know, crew. So, <laughs> sort of. The biggest thing is, you can learn anything, and you can sing. You just gotta figure out where your problems lie and start there. Well, I hope this was helpful, and hope that it answered some questions that you've never found anywhere else, because I would have died for a video like this when I was learning. So if you have any questions, just drop them into the comments, and let me know if this helped you at all. And yeah, happy singing.